Christmas, I asked my Instagram followers if they thought I could make a scrub top before I had to go to work, and everyone said I could, so now I'm trying to make a holiday scrub top before work. I grabbed some festive fabric and a comfy scrub top so I could draft a pattern. I folded the fabric and the scrub top in half and placed the shirt on top. I traced the whole thing, making sure to fold all the excess fabric out of the way for the armholes and the neck. Then I went back and added a seam allowance and cut it out. I did this by marking little dots along the edge at the length I wanted the seam allowance to be and then connected them together with Taylor's chalk. I took that and placed it on the fold of some more fabric and traced to get the back. Remember, you don't have to add a seam allowance because it's included from the front. Line the scrub top back up to trace the back of the neck. I needed to leave by 1.30 by the way. Line the sleeves up on the fold, trace, add seam allowance, and cut out two the same way as the main part of the top. Then I grabbed some black fabric to use as the facing. With everything still on the fold, I traced around the front V and then extended it towards what will be the inside of the shirt about two inches and cut it out. This part will finish the front neck and help it hold its shape. You can also interface this if you want, but I didn't. By the way, I'm using bias tape for the back. I surged the long side of the facing and the sides of the front and back panel. Then I matched up the facing right sides together with the front neck and stitched it in place. I made a few slits near the point of the V making sure not to cut into the stitches and flip the facing to the back. Press everything nice and flat. Then I top stitched along the edge of the neck and the edge of the facing to hold it in place. Now for the back of the neck. I folded one side of the bias tape and pinned it across the back inside neck. Stitched that in place then folded it to the front side and top stitched it down. It is looking so good. I can't even stand it. Look. It's going to be so cool. I didn't have much time for vlogging because I was on a time crunch. I matched up the front and back right sides together, stitched and surged the raw edges. I pressed the seam to the back and top stitched to hold it in place. Then I decided I better try it on, and voila! If it, I had the other one to use as a backup, but it was sort of covered in chalk. Now for the sleeves. I marked my seam allowance and folded it in along the line and pressed. Then marked the second seam allowance and did the same thing so the raw edge would be enclosed. I top stitched along the edge to secure it. Line up the sleeve with the armhole starting in the center and working out to either side, pinning it in place. Stitch it together along the curve. At this time I was starting to panic a little. A lot of scrub tops have this little slit in the side, so I measured and marked where I wanted it on mine. Remember, you need to account for the hem at the bottom. I folded in the shirt on the side, the same width as the seam allowance, and then folded up the bottom twice to enclose the raw edge. I did that for the front and back and then top stitched it in place. Line up the bottom of the arms and the sides and stitch to where you mark the slit. I did double check to make sure it was about the same. 
Then stitch up one side of the opening across and down the other side to reinforce all the seams. And now you have your own custom scrub top and can go to work just in time.